Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I am going to be showing you how to set up Google Analytics and how to install it on your WordPress website. But first, what exactly is Google Analytics? So Google Analytics is a free tool provided by Google to track who is coming to your website. Now, the things that you can track are how long they're sticking around on your website, where they're coming from, what pages they're looking at, and where exactly in the world they are looking at your website from. Now, these statistics are really great to track to see what is and what isn't working on your website. And because it's a free tool, it's a no-brainer. I highly recommend you install it on your website. Before we begin, hi, I'm Nicola from nicolatweed.com and on my channel, I talk all about WordPress, WooCommerce and creating an online business that you love. So if you want more videos like this, then be sure to subscribe to my channel to get notifications of when I upload new videos. Okay, so let's begin and dive right on in to my screen. So the first thing that we are going to be doing is setting up a Google Analytics account. Now, the great thing is a Google Analytics account is free. All you'll need to do is first set up a Gmail account. So what you can do is you can head to Google, type in Google Analytics, and then you're going to go to this first option here, which is analytics.google.com. And we're going to click on that. Okay, so if you already have a Google Analytics account, obviously it's going to pop up here. Um, what we wanna do is maybe add an account, okay? And then we would be asked to either create an account or sign into our Google Analytics. So I'm actually gonna create a quick account um, and I'm gonna go through this process for myself or for my business. Let's do for myself. Okay, so I have set up a new Google um, Gmail account and now I'm presented with this screen that says, oh, welcome to Google Analytics. So I'm going to click on this button that says start measuring and then I am going to give my Google Analytics account a name. So I'm going to be linking this to my website, which is launch with WordPress. So I'm going to type in launch with WordPress. And here we're just going to run through the account data sharing settings. So you can have a read through um, and if you want to enable anything or disable it, um, you can go through those and check, check whichever boxes are relative to you. Then you're gonna click next. Now you're going to set up your property details. So this again can be the name of your website. So let's call it launch with WordPress website. Um, and then you're going to put in your time zone. So I am in South Africa. And then you're going to put in your currency, which is South Africa. And if you want to, you can have a look through those um, advanced options. So you can create a universal analytics property. Um, this is an earlier version of Google Analytics, which um, they are actually phasing out. So you can turn this on if you wanna create a universal analytics property, or if not, um, you can just leave it unchecked. And then you can click next. And um, this is just to help them tailor your experience. So you can choose whichever industry it is. So you can go through this um, and go through it and you know pick the one that is relative to you. So. I'm just gonna say it is um, online communities. My business size is small. And then you can see how do you want to use Google Analytics and you can tick all that applies. So if you want, you can tick all of them or just select whichever ones you want um, that you wanna be using Google Analytics for. And then you're gonna click create. And you just need to agree to Google Analytics terms of service agreement. And obviously you want to agree to your area, then you want to accept and click I accept. Okay, so this is a pop up that's just asking you about email communications and exactly what you want. So I'm just going to untick all of them and click unsave. 
Um, and if you want to, you can go through a tour of Google Analytics. But what we're going to be doing now is we are going to be grabbing the code from Google Analytics and using a plugin to add it to our website. So what we're going to do is we're first going to choose a platform, so it's web, um, and then we're going to paste in our web address here. So it's www.launchwithnicola.com. My stream name, you can obviously name this whatever, so I'm going to call it launch with WordPress or website. And then I am going to click create stream. Okay, so once you have created your stream, you've got your Google Analytics ID number there, and you wanna connect it to your website. Like here at the top where it says view tag instructions. And then we're going to copy this from Google Analytics. So you can just click on this button in the top right hand corner. And then we are going to head to our website and we are going to install a free plugin. It's the WP code insert headers and footer um, on our website. So we're going to come to our WordPress website. We're going to come to the dashboard. Then we are going to come to plugins and click add new. Okay, once we're here, what we're going to do is we're going to type in insert headers and click enter. Okay, and we're going to install and activate that plugin. I've already done so. Once you've installed it, you will see it here on the left hand side. So you'll see code snippets. And what we want to do is head to header and footer here. So we're going to click on that. And then you'll see header here and yours should probably be empty. And then what we are going to do is we are going to paste in that Google Analytics. So I already had Google Analytics already set up, but I'm just gonna set this one over that last one. And then I'm going to click Save Changes. Okay, so once you have clicked Save Changes, the next step is to actually go back to Google Analytics and check that it's actually working. Okay, so here we are back in Google Analytics. We're just gonna close this web stream details. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna to come to here where it says reports. Okay, and what we're going to do is click on this real time because we wanna make sure that it is actually tracking the information and tracking who is coming to our website. So we're gonna go back to our website. We're going to click on visit site. We're going to go to, you know, um, our phone and maybe browse on our phone. And then we're going to come back and just wait a couple of seconds, maybe refresh this page. And then you should have the real time come up. It can take a couple of seconds. But as you can see, there's one session that has started. So now we know that Google Analytics is tracking properly. Okay, great. So that is the process of setting up Google Analytics and installing it on your website. So if you have any questions, then feel free to comment below. Let me know if you have any issues or you managed to do it and you're just so proud of yourself. And if you are at the beginning of creating your website and you actually don't know where to start, there is a link below to a free 45 minute class where I walk you through exactly what goes into creating a successful website. So be sure to sign up for that workshop. It's completely free and it's really going to make you feel confident about creating your own WordPress website.